Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial. Today we will take a look at how to start a PD measurement with an HVA28 TD and a PD30E. This video is a part of our video series regarding a complete cycle of a PD measurement. We now start with our measurement procedure. We control everything for the measurement via the PC with the B2 Suite software. We are now in the home screen. We can now go to Cable Grid, open it and select the defined measurement. We have now selected the one we have created for this particular measurement. If you want to have more information how to set up a measurement on the B2 Suite, please check our manual. This is a PD measurement, so we have only the option down here for the PD measurement. We click on it and the measurement section open. In the first screen, you have some information about the main info, the device set definitions and your measurement settings. And in the left corner, you see if you're connected with your devices. When the green light signal is on, you know you're connected with the devices. By clicking the next button. Then we come to the PD calibration and this consists of the following steps. The noise analyzing, we verify the cable set properties and the calibration. To start the noise analysis, select the play button at the cockpit area. We have now our valid noise signal. Now the software informs us that we have to connect the calibrator. Before you connect the calibrator, please make sure that the DOT is discharged and earthed. We now connect our calibrator. In order to verify the length of the cable, we need to see here the near and the far end of the cable set. In case the measured length differs more than 2%, a small yellow warning triangle appears in the result section. You can edit it in the propagation delay menu when the measurement is not running. You can add up the cable length or you can add up the propagation delay. Prior to starting the calibration process, make sure that the calibrator is connected and set to the defined charge view. Confirm the corresponding pop-up window with OK. Before you go on with the measurement, you have to disconnect the calibrator. When we start, a notification will appear on the screen with the maximum output voltage of the test. The activation of the high voltage needs to be done on the HV test set. It's not possible to activate it in the software. The device state box in the software turns red, yielding that high voltage is applied. For more details on the analysis of the measurement values, please check out the manual. The overview indicates the measurement results and state of the cable set based on the linked test sequence. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like more information about B2 and our products, please visit our website. 
And if you have any technical queries about your B2 device, please contact our technical support at support at b2hb.com.